Hi, this is Tarantula Arc. I would like to thank Robert Giles for helping me with this video. It was a lot of fun making it. Um, I will have all of his information in the description below. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah, I just got to um, the pet shop. Hey, I was wondering, oh no, I'm, well, I wasn't gonna pick anything up unless you agreed. Cause like you're my roommate and stuff and I don't want to like get something without you agreeing to it. So I was wondering since you're going to be gone. Oh my god, they got a bird. Can I get a pet? Okay, just nothing too big. Okay. Well, what if he gets lonely? Can I get him a friend? <sighs> okay then, get him a friend. Oh, awesome. You will not regret this. Alright, cool. Have a safe trip, and I will see you when you get back home in a few weeks. Alright, bye. Hello? Where is she? Hi guys, Robert Giles here. Uh, just want to say a massive thanks to Tarantula Arc for inviting me to take part in this video. Um, it was good fun making it. I hope it was good fun watching it as well. Now, she's asked me to um, do a little clip of some of the dumbest or craziest things that people have actually said to me when they find out I own tarantulas. Now, most of my friends aren't tarantula people. They don't like them, they wouldn't keep them. But the one thing you always hear is, oh my God, I've seen the movies. Tarantulas will attack you and kill you. Well, that's just not true. I mean, as you can see, this enclosure in front of you is open and inside it is a Pocolotheria fasciata. Now, if this tarantula wanted to jump out and attack me, it would have done by now. But as you can see, it's hiding down the bottom of the uh, piece of cork bark, buried itself into the substrate and isn't interested in me at all. In fact, the only thing it wants me to do is leave it alone. <laughs> 